blessed day to each and every one of you. I like to bring you this devotion from the book of Matthew chapter 22, verses 35 to 39. One of them, a lawyer, an expert in Mosaic law, asked Jesus a question to test him. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus replied to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. This is unselfishly seek the best or higher good for others. My friends, this morning as we reflect on this devotion, I'd like to bring to you two important aspects in the scripture. Number one is loving God. First and foremost, God desires a relationship with us. No ritual or routine can replace that relationship. Having a relationship with God is making Jesus the center of our daily life, involving Him in every decision and constantly seeking His will. It is like when two young lovers longing for each another, when they wake up in the morning, the first thing they desire is to hear the voice of the other. And throughout the day, they, they text each another, they call each another just to, to maintain, to, to build that relationship and love grows. In the same way, my friends, when you say you love God, you long for Him. The Lord longs for us to make time for Him and to acknowledge Him and to seek His will in our lives. And the second important fundamental of Christian living is loving others. The Bible says in the book, of 1 John chapter 4, verse 20 to 21. And he says, if someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love God he, who he has not seen? And this commandment we have from God, that he who loves God must love his brothers also. My friends, this is simple and clear. We cannot love God without loving others. How do you love people who have hurt you and falsely accuse you? And let me present to you these three uh, applications for the life of Jesus. Number one, number one, submit that hurt to God. So number one, I want to encourage you, my friends, submit that hurt to Jesus, release it to Him. Number two, receive His love. Know that we cannot love without God's love. Love is from God. And when we start to have a relationship with God, that love permeates from us to the people around us. And number three is to love like Jesus. Not to love how the way we want to love because sometimes our love could, could, could be full of prejudice or we could have our, our favorites. But, but the love of Jesus is spread equally among others. He loved the people who offended him. He, he sacrificed his life for those who persecuted him. So my friends, I want to encourage you in this season to love God and to love your neighbor. Right? Father, in the most loving and matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for each and every one of my dear brothers and sisters who is listening to this devotion. Father, I pray firstly that, Lord, we will make you the center of our lives. The Lord, in, in whatever we do and say, I pray the Lord we will keep you as the center and, and acknowledge you in all our ways. And also, Father, I pray that as we love you, that your love will point to our hearts and give us the divine ability to love others alone. Not just to love people that we love or, or who likes us or who, who, you know, in return loves us too. But Father, help us to love our enemies. You know, sometimes we are surrounded by these difficult people, whether it's in our work, our family, or whether it's in our, you know, our daily living. Help us, Lord, not to, to, to retaliate, but help us to love them. Help us to love them, oh God. Father, I pray. I pray that we will start to be a blessing to the people around us. The Lord, each and every day, we will begin with praying for them, Lord. Pray for their salvation. Pray for their blessing. Pray for their, their well-being, oh God. And Lord, we don't just pray, but Lord, but we'll start to go and listen to them. Listen to their hearts, groans, their pains, their sufferings, their anguish, their fears, their anxieties. Lord, we will be vulnerable, vulnerable enough, Lord, to, to open up and have a meal with them. 
whether it's over chicken rice or whether it's over prata or, or, or biryani, whatever it is. Father, I pray the Lord, we will be people who will be accessible, Lord, and be vulnerable enough to go and have meals. And Father, help us, Lord, to serve them. Not, just, not to be oblivious, Lord, but help us to go out and reach out and serve them to the to the fullest of our capacity of God and our abilities. But above all, Father, help us to share our testimony, share what you have done, share how you have impacted our lives and how this is available to all who open their hearts to you. I pray for my brothers and my sisters listening. I pray for their families, their friends, or that they will become a blessing to the community and their neighborhoods. Thank you for this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.